Happy Holidays from Cooking In with Joyce Lynn. Today I'm doing Galaxy Girl and I have a gentleman that's coming. He's out of this world and he's going to help me celebrate. I call him my Cosmic Santa Claus. Happy holidays there, old cosmic girl. <laughs> no, I'm Galaxy Girl, you're cosmic. <laughs> oh, that's right. Santa's been drinking too much Grand Marnier. Speaking yes. of Grand Marnier. Oh, Grand Marnier. That's I'm right going to drink. use it in my special recipe today. Oh, that's very expensive stuff. Oh, here. Why don't you use Santa's little cosmic secret? Okay. Does that look like water? It is water. Uh, yes, but it's going to be Grand Marnier. And Santa waves and snaps his finger two times. I get a little miniature brandy snifter. Some people call it a wine glass. Now, pour just a little bit in there and watch what happens there. Aha! Uh -huh. oh. Yes! Does that look Perfect. like... Perfect! Yes, we made a little Grand Marnier. Would you like a sip of it? Not now. I'm well, on the road. Well, <laughs> after I'm, I mix I'm it. on the wagon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, so now <laughs> I'm going to use these beautiful oranges. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm going to have you shred. Oh, sure. This is the zest it's called and it's the outside of the orange and it's got the aromatic oils and it brings in the flavor. Oh, speaking so, of flavor. Oh brother, there goes Santa. So I want you to just... Ooh, that's good stuff. Ooh, ooh. Just go like this, okay? okay? And just go around. We're just going to sort of skin the outside of it and that's got all the essential oils. So uh -huh. just go around and do okay. that. And meanwhile, I'm going to get some juice also. I've got two kinds of juicers. This is the kind that keeps the pulp up here. But the one I'm using puts everything in it. And you do have to fish the seeds out. But I think it tastes so much better to have the whole orange. Plus it has all the bioflavonoids. And it's healthier. So while you're doing that, I'm going to cut this one. And I'm going to juice it. Okay, so now I'll just do both of these while you're doing that. And we're just going to put a little bit to add flavor because I'm going to be using orange sherbet. Okay, so I'm going to put it in this one. Oh, this one, oh, you're done. Okay, what do you got? Let's see. That smells wonderful. Do you smell that? Mmm. So then I'm taking my knife and I'm putting it. It smells healthy. It is. And it's oh, very good for you. California oranges. Mmm. Okay. So we just put the zest in here. That's all you need. You don't need much. No. And then juice. And then I take my orange sherbet and Scoop some into here and we're going to mix it. There's my scooper. Now to make it taste a little richer because there's not much cream or milk in here, what I'm going to do is add some vanilla bean ice cream to this and it's going to make it even creamier. So I'm going to put some of that in. Orange, sherbet, vanilla bean. And some of my favorite Grand Marnier. God, this is looking good. Okay. And now the Grand Marnier. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit, about a couple of tablespoons or so. A little bit of mine, too? 
No. You sure? You already drank out of it, darling. I already drank out of it. <laughs> That's right, I have germs. Yes. So now we're going to mix this up. If you want to mix it, you can. I'll give you something to do, okay? Yes. Stir that up. Okay, stir this up. While he's doing that, I'm going to show you a topping that we can make. This is simply dark chocolate, and it goes really well because it cuts the sweetness and it gives it a nice flavor. So I'm going to put two squares, and I'm going to stick this in the microwave at only about 30 seconds. Two big squares here. While you're stirring that, I'm going to stick this in here. And for an added crunch, I've got a big bag of almonds. So I'm going to cut these up. I just cut the top off because that way, instead of ripping it, it's useful this way. And I'm going to put some in, in here for now. And I was going to say, to get more flavor, also then I close this up. And what I do is I use these little... Almond, good! I use these little um, clips to keep it fresh. But then later on, Sometimes I take, I save these jars with the sauces in it, and then I use um, just a little side note. This is a really cool thing. This is like where you can put this in here, and then you can keep your sugar or whatever you want fresher that way by pouring it into there. Okay, now to get more flavor, I'm going to kind of chop this a little bit. And then I'm going to show you what I do after that. How's that? Oh, this is lovely. Beautiful job. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So now we're going to scoop this in here and freeze this. I'll put this in the freezer while we're waiting. It's already fine the way it is, but I like it to be just a little bit more solid. And then I'm going to work on the topping while we're doing that. See how great that looks? Wow, you know, if the local ice cream shops use this kind of recipes, they'd probably do more business. Well, it makes it special. Instead of just having the regular flavor as it comes out, this just gives it a more homemade flavor. You can see it looks delicious, doesn't it? If you happen to have an ice cream shop and you're looking for a really <laughs> good treat to add to your menu, this Let's is it. Let's put this in the freezer. Almonds are especially healthy for you, too. Now, you take Grand Marnier and an almond, and you eat the almond, almond like that, and you drink the Grand Marnier like this. Boy, it sure makes that almond taste and feel real, real cool. Oh yeah. Yes, cosmic Santa pipes. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how mm. you can take Get you warm these in the wintertime too. Okay. Let me get a chopping board. I like to chop these up a little bit because I'm gonna put I'm gonna candy them. Give them a flavor. Now there's two ways you could do this. You could do a brown sugar and brown sugar? Yes, a brown sugar or white sugar and or butter. White sugar. Either but either one. Or I'm not, butter thrust three ways. I'm not doing the butter one. I'm just oh. going to do the sugar okay. and the water. You take one part of water, two parts of sugar, and we put this in a pan and coat it with the almonds. The reason I'm cutting it is because I think it's got more flavor when they're little pieces instead of big chunks. And also, it looks kind of pretty. Okay, so I've chopped this up a bit just to show you, and I'm going to stick it in the frying pan. Whoa, you're going to cook the almonds. And I'm going to put some sugar. Sugar? As I said, two to one. This 
this is quite a holiday recipe, I isn't it? I could be measuring it, but I'm just mm. going to do it. Oh boy. Because I kind of can figure it out this way. This is going to be tasty, I know. And about one part of water. Maybe a little. And then we're going to put this on the stove until all the water is dissolved. Should we throw a little Grand Marnier and no, open this? No, it's nope. plain. <laughs> okay. Okay, let that melt. I might do a few more of these while I'm waiting. That's good. Very good. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> okay. So, you can do this with pecans. You can do this with... Peanuts, you can do this with any kind oh, of nuts. pecans might even be better because pecans are softer. What I also do is add a little bit of an antioxidant. An antioxidant. And it's right here. It's cinnamon because cinnamon will give it a spiced flavor and it helps also. It is an antioxidant, so it's going to be a good contrast to the nuts. Oh, are there different kinds of cinnamon? Well, yeah, there's different ways cinnamon's herbs come, but it's basically the same. It's the same herb. I mean, there is a Vietnamese cinnamon, which I happen to have. Well, because I noticed you've got... Regular. I've got a lot of cinnamon. Cinnamon from a rather high-priced uh, store over there. That's all. Well, it's not that expensive, but it's definitely... Well, you know, Cosmic Santa tends to be a little bit of a tight one, so he, he, he counts okay, his pennies. So now I'm putting this in, too. Okay, and then I'm also going to take now sprinkle about a teaspoon of cinnamon in this. Mm. Oh, it smells good right now. Well, the almond, the cinnamon. <coughs> wow, it smells very, very good. And the aroma. But this is wonderful because nuts have a lot of omega 3. Oh, the omega-3, very healthy. Yes. Very healthy. And, yes. and you want to make sure that this is all dissolved because the water has to cook all the way down. Ah. But you can see. And also, you know, I can put, I mean, I made quite a bit. But yeah. you can see how that's beginning to get crunchy. And then it's toasting it at the same time. Yes. So it's going to have the, the flavor of the toasted almonds and it's also going to be coated with the candy coating and it's great on salads it's great on desserts and so let me just show you what that looks like do you see how great that is oh that, that just looks so nutritious and and i know almonds are good for you protein with all those antioxidants so this is beginning to shape up i'm just going to keep it over here a very healthy dessert now, let me get the chocolate. So we like, we like a healthy dessert. We don't need, you know, there's so many fatty, chunky <laughs> things out in the world today. You get something that's really good for you and tastes even better than that junky stuff. This is a rare treat. It's still melting. I, I'll drink to that. It's better to keep putting a little bit of heat at a time because chocolate you know, it has to be melted slowly. Sometimes you could do it on double boiler, but this is just an easy way to do it. So I'm going to do that. Let me get a little spoon. Would you look in the drawer and find a, a spoon. little spoon forward? This is shaking up well. These are going to be wonderful. You can see. A spoon. Okay, let me get the chocolate and check it out. A spoon. A spoon. We have a spoon, we have a spoon, okay. and we got a full moon while we spoon in June. Now, do you see how this is soft, but it's not quite ready yet? Yes. So I'm going to spread this around and give it one more. I like to do it in increments, but it's almost ready. What kind of chocolate is this? It's dark baker's chocolate. Oh, dark baker's chocolate. It's not... It's not um, the regular, you know, it's, it's... It's not it's not sweetened. No, it's unsweetened, which is wonderful. Well, well now what happened if you put the sweetened chocolate in there? Nothing. It's oh, so just it, already sweet. 
I think it's the contrast. Oh, okay, so we don't really need to overdo on the sweetness then. Well, I think what's so good about it is we've got the bittersweet yeah. flavor. Ah, yes, the flavor. Chocolate. And the aroma, God, it smells good in here. Look at how nice they are coming yeah. out. And so now I have the chocolate melted, and I'm going to drizzle it over the ice cream. Well, it's an orange sherbet. It. My well, special dessert. That looks just like an ice cream sundae. And I am going to take now my nuts <laughs> and I'm going to just sprinkle them on top. The candied almonds. So that's, that's our Christmas holiday special dessert. I hope you love it, and I hope it makes your Christmas and holiday sweet. Mm. Merry Christmas. This is so delicious. If you make this, I guarantee you, you'll have it every Christmas. Right, Cosmic Girl? We're going to make this again I'm next Galaxy year? Girl. I'm Galaxy Girl. You're Cosmic Girl. <laughs> Galaxy Girl. We're going to have this <laughs> the next year, too, right? Yes. This is so Thank you good. so much. Oh, Cosmic Santa loves this. Galaxy Girl wishes you In this. happy holidays. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. With happy birthday. Plans. Happy birthday. Somebody's having a birthday. Oh. Jesus. This was season. That's, he was the reason for Not the yet. season. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Cooking In with Joyce Lynn. Hope you have a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye-bye.